hi viewers today we will solve example 8.22 from boil state this is a nodal analysis problem here we have to identify node voltages for the circuit this is a super node related problem so for solving this type of problem at first we have to know what is a super node let this is a node node 1 and this is a node node 2 if there is a voltage source in between these two node there is a voltage source in between these two node then these two nodes one and two in single is called a super node so this is a single super node which is comprised of two node one and node two now from the circuit if we let this is node one with voltage V1, this is node 2 with voltage V2, we see that the 12 volt source is in between node 1 and node 2. So, this is a super node, this node is a super node which will act as a single node. Now, for solving the problem, we can mentally replace the voltage source by a short circuit equivalent and redraw the circuit as So, this is node 1 with voltage V1, this is node 2 with voltage V2. This point we have replaced 12 volt by a short circuit. So, here we see that this point, this node is a super node and this is a single node, single super node. Now, for solving the circuit, we can just simply assume that this is a single node. Now, we see that 6 ampere current is flowing towards this node and if we let 4 ampere current is going out from this node, current through this 2 ampere is also going out, current through this 10 ampere is going out. 4 ampere current here is going also out. From the super node we see that current through this 10 ohm resistance is going out at one point of super node and current through this 10 ohm resistance is also going entering at super node at another point. Let this is be current I3 and this is I3. So it is clear that from one point of I3 current is going out and at another point I3 current is going in. So I3 current will appear twice in calculating the Kirchhoff's current law at this super node. Now using KCL at super node we get V1 by 4, V1 by 4, this current is going out, V2 by 2, this current is also going out, plus I3, this current is going out, plus 4 ampere, this current is going out, will be equal to 6 ampere current which is entering at this point, 6 plus I3 which is entering at this point. So, we see I3 current appeared twice in this equation. I3 current will cancel each other simplifying the equation we have 4 V1 plus 2 V2 8 16 is equal 6 V1 plus 2 V2 plus 16 
v1 plus 2 v2 is equal 8 that this is equation 1 now from this circuit we see that v1 and v2 can be written as v1 minus v2 is equal to 12 volt 12 volt this is positive because this end is positive and this end is negative so let this equation be equation 2 now if we multiply equation 2 by 2 equation 2 by 2 we will have 2 v1 minus 2 v2 is equal 24 and from equation 1 v1 plus 2 v2 is equal 8 so this cancel each other 3 v1 is equal 32 that is v1 is equal Ten point six seven volt. Now, by using V one in equation two, we will get V two. So, from equation two, V one, V one, which is ten point six seven, ten point six seven minus V two is equal twelve. That is, V two is equal twelve minus ten point six seven that is v2 is equal minus 1.33 volt so we get v1 is equal 10.67 volt v2 is equal minus 1.33 volt these are the answer thanks for watching